the Speaker of the House is the one who leads the House of Representatives. In total, there have been over 50 speakers in US history. Out of all of them, the one who served the shortest amount of time as Speaker was a man by the name of Theodore M. Pomeroy. Theodore M. Pomeroy was born in Elbridge, New York. He graduated from Hamilton College and went on to practice law in his home state of New York in 1847. Pomeroy's political career began when he served as a member of the House of Representatives in New York from 1861 to 1869. In the House, Pomeroy was well respected by his peers on both sides. Before Pomeroy's career in the House were to end, the incumbent Speaker of the House, Scholier Colfax, resigned so he would be able to assume the office as Vice President under Ulysses S. Grant the next day. Colfax leaving meant that this would leave the 40th Congress one day without a Speaker. To not have a Speakerless House, Henry Dawes of Massachusetts motioned to elect Pomeroy. Theodore M. Pomeroy was unanimously elected as Speaker of the House of Representatives on March 3, 1869. This position that Pomeroy was unanimously elected to only lasted for a day as he had to step down as Speaker on March 4, 1869, which was his final day in office. After Pomeroy's speakership for a day, he went on to work in the private sector with some brief encounters of politics here and there. He served as mayor of Auburn, New York, and experienced a brief stint as a state senator in New York from January 1st, 1878 to December 31st, 1879. Thanks for watching.